Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you. Earlier today, I put up a video, honestly, within minutes of the uh, story being uh, broke about Jack Swagger. Actually, if you watch the video inside the video, you see more breaking news come out on my Twitter feed, uh, which I see pop up on the top of my phone as I was making the video, and my heart breaking <laughs> every second that goes along. Uh, but basically, last night, um, Jack Swagger was arrested uh, partying and living it up after the SmackDown tapings in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, he uh, went out and he had a match. He uh, was challenged by Randy Orton. He beat Randy Orton. This is the second big win in his career over Orton. And uh, I guess he needed the need to heavily celebrate his win and live it up like only Jack Swagger could do. Um, basically killing... Any big hopes for any Jack Swagger fans out there like me? I've always joked that I'm the only Jack Swagger fan out there, but uh, there's been a small outcry of people making videos today that have admitted they have a small ounce of uh, interest in Jack Swagger. I know my buddy Freaking 88 uh, is a fan of his, and some other guys that have been fans of his in the past, and uh, it's just hard to really... You have to really, really be a fan of somebody to you know, still be with some guy for the last few months who hasn't even been on television. Um, you follow the careers, the ups and downs of this guy. He came in huge, ECW champion, uh, flipped over to Monday Night Raw after ECW ended. Really didn't look like he was going to get any sort of a big deal push there. Uh, battled for the United States Championship, wasn't able to win it, and then out of the middle of nowhere wins the money in the bank, cashes in on Chris Jericho, becomes a SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion. And uh, it looks like it's off to the races. Then the story breaks that um, basically Swagger's got a big head. They're taking the title off of him, and they don't have any big future plans for this guy. Uh, Jack Swagger is a guy that uh, none other than good old JR, uh, you know, heavily scouted uh, from the... Um, College he went to uh, Oklahoma. He was a you know Oklahoma Sooner, uh, the big um, college that uh, Jr. likes to to follow and really root for. Um, pretty much hand picked him out of there. So you know that um, being one of uh, Jr.'s last big uh, signings that he brought into the WB, you know, WB's got a huge you know uh, investment in this guy, and they don't want to see uh, him really drop the ball. Um, they gave the title to him once. Uh, they really um, put him through the ringer after that, I guess is a good way to say it. Uh, he went through a good year of straight jobbing. Comes up, wins the United States Championship is in a way, I think, of seeing, uh, of, of saying to him, you know, like, uh, um, you know, you're still going out there. You're still doing your job every day. We appreciate it. We have plans for you in the future. Um, what we've done to you over the past year should have broken most guys and, and you still want to be here and you still want to do this. Uh, and even then, uh, you know, maybe to see what would happen to him, they just basically put him on superstars, uh, for his, his entire United States title run. He comes up, he loses to Santino, I believe on Monday Night Raw in a joke of a time. And just, uh, then he's Dolph Ziggler's lackey, uh, fighting for the, uh, uh, I guess he, he wasn't really looking for Vicky Guerrero to be his girlfriend, just really to be his manager uh, and try to reach the top again. Um, goes through that whole crap hole, loses to uh, Ziggler, puts him over on Monday Night Raw. Then um, he just quits one night, loses a match. Probably has, probably lost his um, at least his 20th match in a row. I remember somebody sending me a... Uh, uh, you know, this That was like in June, maybe July of this year. Uh, somewhere around there, um, that Swagger hadn't won a match on TV in all of 2013 or something like that. It was, I don't know, it was really hard. And then they sent him home, the story breaks about him uh, smoking pot. I didn't really think it was uh, that big of a deal. And then, um, you know, he just kept on not showing up on television over and over and over again to the point of where I was ready to make the video on Jack Swagger's release from WWE. You know, people kept sending me the joke that it was coming sooner than later, and uh, I honestly really did believe it. Uh, he kept on saying on Twitter that he would come back when the timing is right, and uh, apparently, 
you know, right here with Elimination Chamber, they really, you know, brought him back at the right time and was going to really put this big push behind him, sending him straight from Jobber status to a World Heavyweight Championship match, which uh, honestly doesn't always guarantee you the biggest things. Like, uh, I think uh, most people looked at Alberto Del Rio as the biggest lock in the world at WrestleMania 27 to win uh, against Edge. Edge goes out and beats him, and um, we didn't really know what was going to happen with Del Rio uh, after that loss. Um Jack Swagger is not the first guy to really mess up uh, in a big situation. You can look back um, at Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam was the ECW champion as well as the WWE champion, uh, coming in on cashing, uh, coming off of cashing in uh, his Money in the Bank, and um, I don't know if you, I'm sure everybody out there is a wrestling fan seen the video on YouTube from the Cruiser Cam of uh, the cop walking up uh, to Rob Van Dam and said, "Boo." Uh, they, they left, I believe they were in Cleveland. It'd be nice to see if they actually have dashboard camera of this in Mississippi. I would love for it to get released, put it out there on YouTube. I think it'd be pretty funny like this is. But basically, the cop doesn't know who Rob Van Dam is. And he walks up to him and he goes, why are you driving with a shirt off? And he's telling them that he just left. That he just had a match. And he asks, that, you know, if he's, a, if he's good at being a wrestler. And he just answers, World champ, baby, and, and you can't see him, but I can imagine him doing you know the Rob Van Dam pose for the cop right there, uh, which you know basically uh, leaked out everywhere all over the internet. And uh, the next Monday Night Raw, he loses the WWE Championship to Edge. The, then the next night on ECW, he loses the um, ECW Championship to I believe was the Big Show. Not really a hundred percent sure on that one, but um, you know crazy. Um, so, I mean, there, there is proof out there that they could really take this away from him as, you know, as fast as they gave it to him. Uh, you can look at Randy Orton, uh, Randy Orton, who was getting suspended, uh, back in the day. Um, I think he trashed a hotel room over in England or something like that. And, uh, you know, he was told he was going to be suspended, but they let him have his WrestleMania match because they didn't really want to mess it up. That was the WrestleMania. It was him, Kurt Angle. And Rey Mysterio, uh, they went ahead and let him go work to Mania. And then his suspension started right after that. I believe it was a 60-day suspension. Basically just telling him, you know, we're not going to take you fucking up anymore. Uh, because, you know, we treated you like you were our future. And now you're basically spitting in our face. And if you've seen the Randy Orton documentary, which I think mostly everybody has, um, he really didn't learn to fly right after that as well. Uh, it took him a little bit longer till the birth of his daughter, and then we saw later last year that uh, that really didn't do it either, and that Randy Orton gets bored and likes to get high in his spare time as well. Um, you can look at uh, things that have happened this year um, that have been bigger uh, situations. Um, I can't remember if it was Naomi, or no, is that, that chick's name's not even Naomi. Cameron? One of, one of uh, Brodus uh, Clay's girls that come out and dances with him. Um, she got arrested for DUI, and not only did she lie about um, who she was, she lied about who she worked for because she didn't want the story to get out. And then, as well as going along with that lie that she told the officers, she bribed the officers with cash money to let her go. Stupid. Very stupid. Everybody thought that that was a guaranteed trip that she was going to lose her job. I don't even think she got suspended for it. Uh, I haven't really heard anything about this getting all worked out, but I haven't heard the story in months. So whatever happened to her, happened to her. She's still on TV dancing. Uh, I don't even know which one it was. So I don't even know it's the one that they're putting in matches right now for you. But um, you can even look back. I forgot about this till right now, but um, Alex Riley, uh, who wasn't involved with, uh, in the WrestleMania match, but was getting a real big push before WrestleMania as being uh, the Miz's uh, lackey. And, um, you know, he gets the DUI and, um, and, uh, he still be able to use, uh, on the WrestleMania card. So there are a couple of things that they could do with Swagger. Uh, they, they could, they could just flat out suspend him and take the whole push away. There's enough time that they could replace him and put another guy in there. They could, um, suspend him and then bring him back. It's like 40 something days until Mania. So that would bring, at least give him two weeks of TV to come back and finish the WrestleMania push if they still wanted to use the match. Or they could just fire him and just put Mark Henry in the match uh, or bump up somebody else. Randy Orton sure needs something to do. People like to complain about you know Swagger being in this match. 
anybody that has a match with Alberto Del Rio right now, people are honestly really going to complain about. I can't really think of anybody that they're going to put in with Cesaro that people are like, now that's a match that I really, really want to see. I like Mark Henry. I like... I don't like Orton. I like Cesaro. I think that would be a good matchup, but I don't... I, I bet people would be like, he's not ready. Um, but, um, you know, there are things that they can do. Uh, we're going to have to find out in the next coming days what they're actually going to do. But, um... Jack Swagger, man, you're my guy, but you really messed up. Not just because you're my guy, because you're a public figure, you're a WWE guy. Uh, DUI, I think, is one of, honestly one of the worst things you can do out there. Uh, I know like California basically has legal pot. Colorado has legal pot. Seattle, uh, Seattle sales on state. Washington just recently legalized pot. All three of those states are really looking forward to, to things that they can do, you know, to legalize, you know, uh, how you can drive and, and be on marijuana. Um, you know, people like to say that you're still able to, to, to drive and do normal functions, but, uh, you know, um, I, I have concern about people going out there and, and driving around because I, I don't think you're fully at your 100% state, and I don't want you to crash into my car or my family uh, because you're doing that. I think basically everything is tied in with alcohol laws that if an officer thinks that you're, you know, too high, you're too high. And uh, you can basically get arrested for it, even though it's legal, because you're driving under the influence uh, behind your vehicle. So, Jack Swagger, you honestly really, really messed up. Um, we'll have to see what happens from here, because uh, a guy like me, I don't think I really want you out there.